and I'm here again everybody with a little short video about the wrong doings of why end up this transformer and the right doings of why end up transformers at all times. Now what I have here is a 5 kVA auto transformer for you. 5 kVA means 5000 watts. It has a primary side of 220 volts and a secondary side of 127 volts. And uh, I see a few things here that I don't like. I do completely don't like. I tried to talk to the guys who did it up, but they didn't take me on, so couldn't do anything about it. It's already there. Now, first thing that you see here: green wires, green wires, all green wires going to a transformer. That is complete. That, that is a complete violation of the NEC code and any other code you'll ever find or ever read. So they did this because they didn't want to go and get different wires or different color wires. But that you can, you should never use a green wire for conductors it's against code and they as you see they taped it up with red tape and they use black tape for the neutral red tape for the hot conductor so that's complete crap um one thing i see on the primary side the wires the wire sizing is wrong i have my 2014 ugly electrical reference i also have the dr was 2011 and if you can look inside here yeah, and 220 volt, 240 volt, 5 kVA, you're going to see 20.8 amps. That's full load. On the 120 volt side, you're going to see 41.7. The doctor was says the exact same thing. Now, this is a 5 kVA, so you should expect 41 amps on the secondary and 20.8 on the primary. And they have a number 10 wire in the primary which is, I think is very acceptable that's for if you're coming out for 30 amp breaker to protect the to protect the primary side and they have the same number 10 wire on the secondary which is complete garbage that shouldn't be there they're just limiting the the place that they that this chance almost should be feeding which is a complete office with computers and all kind of different stuff inside it um, that primary that secondary side should be wired with at least a number 8 wire Rated for at least 50 amps, 55 amps, but 50 minimum. And the number, the, the primary side should be at least a number 12 wire for 20, for 25 amps, or a number three wire. But the ugly says 240 volt, but this is a 220 on the primary, so you should expect an increase in current. So I would say the number 10 wire is okay. Just that the green, the color green, it shouldn't, it shouldn't be there at all. It shouldn't be there at all. So. The secondary side has a wrong size wires and the prime is okay but the green wires still suck so that shouldn't be there and as you see my, my uglies tell me that I'm completely right and now the presentation side of it look at all these wires that are slagging around this thing should have been in a little flex or something or in a, in a, in a conduit make it look a bit present you know presentable and look at that 2.5 wire that's coming out of the primary side of it to supply it to 20 so somewhere doesn't look presentable at all, man. It just sucks. But the guys, they just they did what they had to do, and I think they tried their best, but they didn't follow some code. Cause this is a complete violation right here, complete violation. And what else could I say about it? So that's one thing you always do. You always size your primary and your and your secondary side properly. Size them, size the wires properly. Learn the max, work it out. Get a book, read it. And one thing I, I didn't see them do, they didn't put a breaker before the primary side. Now, normally, if you can find a 25 amp breaker or a 30 amp breaker, that should be okay to protect the primary side. So, they didn't do that. They just take it off a source. Their sources that powers mostly everything on a 220 circuit. So, uh, I just I just didn't like that. And they, well, on the secondary, you could put a breaker on the secondary, but that 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 has to be in the panel box where it's gonna supply. You know, so so basically on the on the secondary side, the office is limited to 30 amps. But there's there should be a break, there should be a study and break inside the panel box that the office can, will will contain. But as you see, it does look presentable to me at all. It does not look presentable. So remember that at all times. Proper wire sizing for your primary and your secondary side. Make it look presentable at all times. Never use a green wire for conductors. Never do that. It's against it's, it's against the code at all times. Never use never do that. So thank you guys for watching. It's Christian Wilson again coming to you.
hit me up with a message on you on on YouTube. Email me something, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, you guys. Take care.